Welcome back to Boxers and Briefcases. In this video, we're going to talk about dress codes. Casual, business casual, business formal, formal, as far as what you should wear and when you should wear it. First, we're going to talk about casual, or classy casual, as I like to call it. Uh, this is basically anything, but it's a step up from what you probably wear on campus normally. This can include anything but sweatpants, sweatshirts, t-shirts, and also you don't want to be as formal as a tux or a suit. Typically casual wear ranges anywhere from a nice pair of jeans and a sweater to khakis and a dress shirt or a polo shirt. But you can get creative with your accessories and wear a hat or a blazer if that fits your style. As far as shoes go, wear a good pair of casual shoes like loafers, slip-ons, or almost any black or brown leather sneakers such as these. Otherwise Oxfords can also be a good option, but could tend to be a little bit too classy in some situations. As far as women go, They'll typically be wearing a sundress or a cocktail dress in this situation. Slacks and blouses are also acceptable, although that can lean towards more business wear. Business casual is meant to be more casual than business formal, but more upscale than casual and more uniform. This is the kind of thing you'd wear conservatively to church or a family outing. It might be what you'd wear to your high school homecoming or a relaxed wedding and also a business lunch or day-to-day white-collar workwear. For men, this is typically defined as nice slacks or trousers with a dress shirt and an optional tie. I'd recommend dressing on the high side if you're ever in doubt. Um, a sweater could be included as well, and for shoes you should be wearing Oxfords, slip-ons, or loafers. No casual dress shoes, no sneakers. Nice jeans, uh, khakis, or corduroys could also be used as well. A woman in this situation might wear a knee-length skirt with or without tights, um, or a blouse, slacks, or a sweater. Business formal is the type of clothing you would typically wear to make a statement. It's often worn in the business world, but most importantly you'd probably be wearing uh, this type of stuff for an interview. This also can be worn at weddings or funerals. This category is standard with a two or three piece suit and a tie. Trousers with a complimentary sport coat are acceptable as well. For instance, khakis paired with a navy blue sport coat are a classic combo. Gray, brown, khaki, or black suits are acceptable at this level. You might get away without wearing a jacket, but we suggest wearing one. Women for this level might wear a blazer and matching trousers or skirt. For non-business events, uh, dinner parties for instance, an evening gown might even be acceptable. Think either a simple prom dress or a nice homecoming dress. For formal wear, there's one word you could think of to bring back all those mixed feelings about it, prom. This is the kind of dress you would wear for a fancy wedding, a ball or awards event, or lots of other things you'll probably never be going to. The only times you're really going to be wearing formal wear are your high school prom, your own wedding, or if you're in a wedding party as a groomsman. You should at the very least be wearing a black or chocolate suit. No khaki or gray or blue is acceptable. Generally though, a tuxedo is recommended. The difference emphasizing the tuxedo is a satin on the collar and a different, usually more round cut for the collar. These are acceptable in black, charcoal, chocolate, or white, but please, at all costs, avoid wearing white. Women at this level would be wearing a gown. Think about what nice prom dresses or bridesmaids dresses look like, or maybe what your celebrity crush might be wearing on the red carpet at the Oscars. That should about do it, gentlemen. If you have any more questions, I suggest asking a female friend or a fashionable guy friend who would know what's up. Or, better yet, post your questions below and we'll try to answer them for you.